Tom Ronbeck, the athletic director here, Dr. Todd Ronbeck, just uh, played the national anthem, asked the folks to remove their hats, uh, except for this fellow right here. All the guys around them just adjusted their caps and stood there with their hats on during our Star Spangled Banner. So I'm going to start the evening off with a complaint here. Come on, guys, show some respect for your country and the American flag. Calvin Castine on a tirade here at the Clinton Community College, beautiful downtown Cliff Haven. It's Junior College Men's Basketball. The Clinton Community College men will be in orange and visiting is the Word of Life Bible Institute Huskies. The opening tip is underway, 20 minute halves. Opening tip goes to the Cougars, but quickly get right back to the Huskies. On the floor, four. Clinton. Our number 44, Tom Ryan from Beekmantown. Number one, Jamie Davison from Northeastern Clinton. And those two fellows, and there's a basket by Michael, Michael, Michael Krekos. From the uh, Peekskill area, I believe. But uh, Ryan, there's a basket for Word of Life by Tyler Baker. Uh, I was about to say that Ryan and Davison, along with Jesse Shaughnessy from Screen Lake, are the only. Oh, a basket by Ryan, are the only local players from our Tri County area on uh, the Clinton team. And uh, it's uh, unfortunate, but. Uh, they don't do more recruiting from our local area, for our local community college, but that's the way, that's the way it is, so it is what it is. The Cougars keep the ball, and thrown up off the rim, a shot taken by Kyrie Hill. And rebound, I believe, is by Zeke Kokosinki from uh, Word of Life. We have a, the first foul of the game. It's a 4-2 Cougar lead, 18-20 on the clock, and uh, blue ball. It's November 4th, 2013, and this might be the only Clinton game that I'll be able to cover this year, but uh, we're here. I was with Brock there. I was thinking of coming back on Wednesday when uh, North Country is going to be here, but we had absolutely nobody from Clinton County on the North Country Community College team, and I think only one guy, a, a Boye fellow from uh, Chattagay in the whole uh, Tri-County area, so I doubt if I'll be back for, for that game. Davidson going for the steal, but the Huskies keep it, Davidson wants it back. Throws the pass up ahead, and it's played in. And that's a 6-2 lead. Let's see if we can get the name of the scorer here. Let's zoom in to number three in your program. That's Bayron Carter. Bayron Carter with the bucket. Shot from the baseline is missed. But the Huskies will hustle and keep the ball. Bowman is the coach for Word of Life. And Kevin Doggerty is... Uh, Coach for Clinton, and among his assistants uh, is the former uh, Plattsburgh State coach, Ed Jones. Huskies take it away, that's uh, Carter. Excuse me, Cougars take it away. Carter out to hole. But underneath, Ryan is drawn up for it, and it's slapped out of bounds. It's going to be off Ryan. There's uh, a little help from Kokinski there. Uh, 14 out, 11 in. So uh, let's see. Tyler, no, Baker was already in there. Uh, but John Andrzejczyk is out for Word of Life. That is short. Dip and control. 
by them husky hustling huskies. Word of Life uh, Bible Institute down in the Spoon Lake Pottersville area. There's Davison for the Cougars. Bounce pass to the big guy. Exciting cheer from the fans as Michael Greco, Greco, Greco with a K, uh, six feet ten inches is listed as. And that makes it an eight-two lead for Clinton Community College, 15-53 showing here in the first half. Davison will bring it up for Clinton into the forecourt. Ryan goes low, shot is missed. Oh, your shot, Orange! And here come the Huskies. Temperature 28 degrees when we shut our vehicle off. A little, let's see, let's see what security little bit on the cool yeah. side here for uh, November, but it's supposed to be just temporary, so you have highs and lows, and you have an average, and well, we're below average. He's working the ball around the perimeter. Pull up for the shot. And rebound by number five. Oh. Ryan's shot is blocked. That was uh, Hall who had the rebound and passed it to him. Uh, Ryan's shot, uh, you would think, was uh, deflected to have it go up. It hit off there. I don't think he would have shot it and hit it off the base of the score clock like that. I would have thought it had some help from the defense, but not the way the call was made. Ryan Ortiz, number two, is in for Clinton. 8-2. Cougars leading the Huskies here in the early going. And it's November 4th, 2013. It's been eight years since the Cougars won the NIC championship, eight seasons ago, and 13 seasons since the women won it. There's no women's team this year for the first time since they started a squad. And Krako is fouled. And uh, that 2000 uh, 2001 team. I'm proud to say uh, we caught all those games on Hometown Cable as my daughter Danielle was on it. So between my wife Judy and I, we were yeah. able to uh, no. capture just about all of them, if not all of them. And Danielle uh, was co MVP that year. And uh, Credited with shooting 50% from the three-point arc. I think uh, that was a little generous, but that's what the record books show. Davison shot is missed. Rebound was hauled down by Justin Cousins. Shot off the rim. Rebound in Creco. Ortiz with a nice little move. Bounces it up. And a nice move by... Kyrie Hall, and that makes it a 10-2 Clinton lead. Oh, that'll be goaltending. That'll be goaltending. Can't slap the backboard when the ball is up there around the rim in that perimeter area. Charles Holmes, number 15, will come in, and Ryan will get a, a breather. Looks like there's timeout on the floor with the Cougars leading at 12-2 and 13-47 showing here in the first. The uh, Huskies will bring the ball up. Have your ball in for you. Ryan, who just sat uh, one of three siblings who scored 1,000 points plus uh, at uh, Beekman Town. He scored 1,080. His brother also scored over 1,000. And his sister Shannon also is still going. She has well over a thousand going into her junior year. Hands up! Fade away is 
rebounded Creco. Sonnesy, who I haven't seen yet uh, from Spoon Lake, also a thousand plus point scorer for the Wildcats. Creco last year averaged 13 points a game for the for the Cougars and 12.7 rebounds. Davison out there averaged 4.8 assists per game and had a three point scoring uh, ratio of 40.8 percentage. Davison back to Creco. It's blocked. Back to Davison. And JD drops it in. That makes it a 14-2 lead. That's going to be off Ortiz. A uh, good heads-up play there by uh, number, number 14, uh, Andruck. And who got came in? Uh, there was number 32 just came in. That's John Rich, Josh Richards just came in for the walk for the. Huskies, Ortiz with a steal and the basket. Davison gives you some strong defense out there and with Ortiz around. It looks like Ortiz has great speed out there. It is Hall. Man to man defense for a word of life. <laughs> Shut off the slide of his foot. No intent. So it wasn't rule the kick. That'll be off orange. Went off the no, off blue. Thought it went off hole, but apparently not. 16 to the score, 12 11 on the clock. Davison will inbound it. And Ortiz uh, is hole. Kreko, top of the key, drives and lays it in. Six feet ten, and he can put the ball to the floor, so it's kind of hard to, to match up with Burtis with the ball for a word of life. It's stripped away. Oh, a lot of moves going on there. Uh, that was uh, Hull. Kyrie Hull. Hull with the steal, passes it up the floor. Ortiz keeps it. Uh, had Holmes there if he'd uh, if he needed to pass to somebody. Holmes would have had an easy shot. 22 to two as the Cougars are running away and early going here. 11, 11 on the clock, and this has been all Clinton. As uh, oh, Kreko misses and gets his rebound, pushes it up and misses again. Rebound is pulled down by Richards. And here comes Word of Life. And it's laid in there by Justin Cousins, only the second basket of the game. Second field goal of the game for, for the Huskies. There's Hull. And stripped away, stolen there by Ben Burtis. Falls in. That's in Andrachuk. That's a Y, but uh, and the Y-U-K. But uh, when Todd Roanbeck uh, introduced them, he said Chuck instead of uh, Yuck. So we're going to go with Todd for Todd Roanbeck. Cut over the rebound. Another easy two for him. And it's 24 to six. Cougars with 80% of the points here in the early going. Back to Hull, back to Ortiz. No, Davison is fouled and have a reach called on Cousins. Now we have uh, Baron Carter back in, and uh, joining him will be number 12, Jonathan Lamboy. Lamboy. So we'll have uh, Hull and Davison grabbing seats.
9.40 left in the half. We're a little over halfway into the first half. And the Cougars are on pace to hit uh, well over 90 points at this point. That should slow down as the game progresses, but still it's an early start of 24-6 after just about uh, 10 minutes of action. Block, and what's the call? A hole called. I believe that was on Carter, number three. Carter in a Lamboy and Ortiz up on the press. Echo back there to intimidate and block. I haven't mentioned it in a long time, but right from there, right at the top of that key, the first person ever to make a three-pointer in this gymnasium was me. Bob Ben and, uh, and I were taking a tour of this new building back when it was new, whenever the year that was in the 90s, and the uh, Hyper Building. Todd Rowanbeck was showing us around. The basket by number 10, Dominique Proctor. So uh, Todd brought out a basketball and I put up a three pointer and made the darn thing. I, mean, I think we had uh, Todd take the first shot. So he would uh, be on record as making the first basket here in the gym. But off camera, I took the three point shot and, and made it, and that's been my claim to fame ever since. So I don't think they put a plaque up in the hall to record that for some reason. But you would think it would uh, demand some kind of uh, prominence of that sort. Nice little jump shot there by number 10 in the program, Dominique Proctor, just in the game. As I came to play, and it makes it 24 10, 8 minutes and 12 seconds. Whoops. Shot from the three-point arc, it's good. And that's number three, Carter. And uh, it's now 27, the first three-point of the game, I believe. And that shot is missed by Burtis. Here comes Ortiz. And a little jump shot by number 12, Jonathan Lamboy. Seven and a half to go. In the first half, 29-10, Cougars lead. Loose ball, controlled. Hands up, Orange! The shot is missed. There was 12 on the shot clock. Uh, we're gonna have a man at the foul line. He'll be shooting two. It'll be number 24, Justin Cousins. Cousins will shoot two. As soon as we have this up on the website, which should be uh, election day tomorrow, number 5th, is the 4th, we'll uh, Send the link to Clinton and to Word of Life, and uh, Word of Life in particular has uh, students from uh, around the country, so they can share those with the uh, share that link with the the home folks and let them know what the what the young men are doing now and out their way at college. But his miss, look out, he was out of control, he was reaching. He's sky, that's one of the dangers when you can leap like that. You start leaping and reaching to your side and uh, you get your legs taken out pretty quick. So Carter, a victim of uh, having too much spring in his, in his legs there. Oops. 
Shot is missed. Uh, rebound was pulled down by Newell. Uh, Darian Newell, number, number 12 out there. There's a shot off the rim. And uh, working hard under there. Number 23, Mike Freeman. I think when they introduced him, I think that he's the guy they said it was from Texas. Uh, Freeman working hard under there. Nothing to show for it, but uh, the satisfaction of knowing he was working hard. Quick shot is off the rim and rebounded by Carter. Under six here in the first half, 29 to 11. Oh, right in the hands of the defense. No, the spin move. Some Cougar fans thought he may have taken an extra step there, but at the heck, it sure looked good. And the team was down by 18. What the heck? 5.28 to go. <coughs> Off Orange, the blue ball. Ryan is going to come back in. I want to thank uh, Tom and Maureen Ryan, his parents, for becoming viewer patrons and supporting Hometown Cable. We were here just a couple of days ago uh, watching his sister play volleyball in the sectional finals. Blue ball. and it seems to be doing a good job of con containing these, uh, these Huskies. Let's see, 29, 42 points have been scored. Laid in, uh, let's see, I believe that was number 10, Jalik Banks. Put that in to make it 31-13. November 4th, 2013. As I just said, the Ryan's uh, viewer supporters. Uh, Justin Cousins hits, hits the three-pointer. So it's a reminder that this is viewer-supported local television. And um, whether you're watching this for the first time or been watching it for 30-plus years since we've been on the on the air since uh, June of 1983. So if you're watching this for the first time or you've been a long time viewer, uh, we need your support to keep this programming coming. This is local television, We're trying to bring you what's uh, best and uh, the most interest in and around the North Country. Ryan hits the first. The foul was on Freeman, his first. Team fourth. Both teams with just four fouls. Ryan misses the second. And we're going to have a foul on, I believe, uh, number five, Hall. As Hall has picked up his third foul. No, that's on Hall Carter. Three. Three Carter, not five. With three. Number three, Carter has his three fouls. Blocked, intimidated by Ryan. Cousins hands it off, and it goes off the hands of Freeman. And it's going to be Banks inbounding it to Ortiz. Ryan with the low post. He goes and scores. He's listed at 6-6. 34-16, so it's Cougars now at 68% of the points. That was short. And basket by number 12, Lamboy. That's a 20-point Cougar lead, 36-16, to 16, three and a half to go in the first half. Ryan ends up with the ball. 
gives it to Banks. Banks gives it to Ortiz, and Ortiz into the forecourt. Oh! Three-pointer by Bayron Carter. Oh, rebound there. Strong rebound by Lamboy. That was missed by Carter. And rebounded by Proctor. Dominique Proctor. Basket's good by Newell. Darian Newell makes it 39-18. Ryan with a reverse no look. And rebounding there was number 10 in your program, Jalik Banks. Banks with a rebound and bucket make it 41-18. We're down to 2-12 to go in the half. He is fouled. Basket will count. He was hacked in the act of shooting. The foul was on number 24, Cousins. That's his uh, second, team fifth. Both teams now with five fouls. So substitutions. Let's see who's in there. Number 11, Jermaine Valadares. Uh, anybody else is new? Makes it a three-point play, 44-18. 14 is in, that's Andrew Chuck. 12 is Newell. Throws it up, keeps it alive, but here come the Cougars. Protecting the ball with his body, it was Banks. Forty-six, eighteen. Here's a three-point attempt. Ryan kept it alive, and it's rebounded by Valadares. One twenty-two on the clock. Uh, Forty-six, eighteen. The score. So letting him play out there, there's a lot of contact, it's not a close game, so that's uh, trying not to make it a game of whistles. That one they have to call. Before the shot, before the shot, uh, Valadero's trying to get a, <laughs> a shooting foul, but before the shot, no continuation there. That's a sixth team foul. So he'll shoot on the next one if we get that far here in the first half. Under a minute to go. There's Ryan. Double pumps. He's in another two, and he makes it 48. And a 30-point lead now for Clinton with 39 seconds to go in the half. As soon as this, uh, as I said, I'll send this to the respective colleges, Word of Life and Clinton, and also send it to uh, Joyce Ryan, uh, Joyce, uh, Robinson Ryan, and make sure she has the link. She's not able to be here tonight. Uh, I don't see her husband Harold either, so make sure they have the link as soon as it becomes available. Ten seconds. Forty-eight, eighteen—a convincing thirty-point lead for Clinton at the half here on viewer-supported hometown cable.
with Clinton Ball to start the second half. Kirko into Davison. Davison over to Carter. And out front, you had uh, Hall and who else is out there? Ryan. Freeman uh, thought he was going to uh, <laughs> stop uh, <laughs> Ryan, but he's uh, outpounded by about a hundred of those LBs. <laughs> so he just went down like a like a little twig. <laughs> his uncle <laughs> Ryan's uncle Roger Robinson got a kick out of it. <laughs> Can't say as a blame him. Let's see, this is 20 Burgess inbounding it. Word of Life Bible Institute in blue. Clinton Community College Cougars. They are orange and blue. They got their home orange uniforms on. This is Hull. Ryan goes low to Kreko. Kreko turns it up off the glass and in. And it's a 52 to 18 Cougar lead. Number one is 24 to 6, and I said the Cougars were on the range to hit over 90. Well, they kept that uh, pace up with 48 in the first half. A, and they're coming out strong here with eight quick points in the first minute and a quarter of the second half. <clears throat> so uh, at halftime, they're on pace to score 96 points, same as they were 10 minutes into the game. Before 18, that's a three to one ratio right now. Davison is fouled, so he'll go to the line. Foul will be on Andrew Chuck. And 18-34 remaining in the ball game. Davison at the line. It's the first. And the second. It's 56 to 18. So I guess they've now scored eight points. I think I said they scored eight in the first minute. Uh, it scored six in the first minute for 15. His Burtis will inbound it. Pass comes along into the backcourt. And good heads up play by Hull. Knocks it off the knee of Andrew Chuck. And he's gonna be replaced. We're gonna have uh, Chuck there in for him. Cougar is working the ball. Oh, that could have been offensive. That could have been an offensive foul. Carter stuck with it and gets the points to make it a 40 point, 58 to 18 advantage for the Cougars. Crawford dishes it off. Here's a shot from the three point range. And it's good by number 22, Zeke. Kokinski Kokinski with the bucket and with barely two minutes into the second half it's 17.48 Ryan pick up a little push shot make it 60 so Cougars has scored 12 here in the second half already to take a 60 to 21 lead shot is missed Preco with the rebound. A little alley-oop from Hull to Carter, and the foul will be called on Kokinski. Ko Kokinski. Ko Kokinski. K.O. K.O. Sinky. Cougars take it away. 
Banks brings it up. Oh, excuse me, wrong team. Uh, ten is back there. There's Davison with a steal and an easy two. 62-21. Proctor, this is off. So we take it away. Cougars' next game is going to be against their arch rival, North Country Community College. As I mentioned, we've thought about recording that one, but since uh, North Country has only one fella from the North Country, uh, ironically, uh, Boye from Chateaugay, uh, not going to make the trip. We get paid the same whether we show up here or not. And we haven't gotten a lot of financial support from the folks at Clinton over the years, unfortunately. But we try to be fair to them anyway and uh, hope that someday, every once in a while, they'll catch on and send us some advertising or something, but for the most part, it doesn't happen. Davison hits that. 63-21. We still do what we do. We try to be fair to Everybody in the North Country, Davis Hitch 2, he's going to get 3 at the line. 12 and 32 are in. That's uh, Darian Newell and uh, Josh Richards for the Word of Life. 64-21, 16 and a half to go in the ball game, and it's now 65. Davison 3 for 3 from the charity stripe, 65-21 here in the second half. Davison with those Cobra quick fingers knocks it out of bounds. And Proctor's attempt to pass. Coco Kinski will inbound. Gives it to Baker. Back to Coco Kinski. Uh, to Proctor. Proctor <laughs> tries to shoot over Treco. Treco's about it. Well over a foot taller than he is. Treco lays that back to Hull, and Hull gets an easy two. Got a good hustle to be down there to get to get those easy two. Ryan intimidates. Uh, it's going to be off Treco, I guess, as uh, Richards is trying to get a shot off. 15-48. 67-21. November 4th, 2013. Shot is missed. And rebounded by Carter up to Hull. Hull tried to go to Krekko, but he came in low for some reason. Oh, nice pass there. That was Kukukinski to Baker. And would have life looked good on that little play. 67-23. We're still down by 44. Here's Ryan. Shot is short. And we'll have a foul. Kukukinski says, I got all ball. Left solid otherwise. So Carter will step at the line. That's the fourth foul on Kukukinski. Coco Sinki, Coco Sinki, Coco Sinki, K O K O S I N K I, Coco Sinki. And he's going to be replaced by Tyler Taylor. 21, Tyler Taylor. 68 23, shot is missed. Rebound Kreko, he's looking for Ryan. Nice unselfish play there by the big guy giving it to the other big guy that went from Krekko to Ryan and the Cougars have hit the 70 point mark which is usually enough to win just about any junior college ball game and I think will be more than enough to win this one 70-23 under 15 to go in the ball game Got his missed, and the rebound was Newell. Proctor will bring it up. Last 
Blocked it good by Taylor. Tyler Taylor. Whoa, look out. No foul. Chris Checo going to Carter, but uh, no foul. Shot is rebounded by Krekko. Looks like he's trying to work on his assist total. He's going to get a few of those tonight as Carter scores on the ring. Big uh, long pass there. He could play for a lot of football teams with a pass like that. Slapped away by Davison. And slam the jam by Kyrie Hull. And timeout, word of life. The Cougars lead now at 74-26. Exactly 100 points have been scored in the Northeastern Clinton, but Clinton Cougars have 74% of them. Proctor with the ball after the timeout. Ortiz trying to tie him up, and he forces the jump ball. Brian Ortiz. Probably not related to the World Series MVP. That is missed. And controlled by Newell, gives back to Doctor up to uh, Taylor, shot is missed. And the ball is controlled by Carter. Ortiz fires it down the floor. Who's this guy here? Number 12, uh, Lamboy. Lamboy is fouled. Under 13 to go, it's 12.58 showing. Lamboy will shoot two. The foul was on Newell, his second, team fifth. Cougars are yet to be called for a foul here in the second half. First half, the fouls were pretty even, if not exactly even. And Lamboy misses that. And we're going to have 15 orange with a push. Going for the rebound, foul, foul called on Charles Holmes. 75-26. Short jumper is in by Justin Cousins. Cousins with the bucket, it's 75-28. Got missed, and fighting for the rebound, we have a jump ball. So the possession arrow will determine. Richards will inbound it, and he'll give it to Proctor. Falling backwards, and he ended up uh, tripping over Lamboy. No, was coasting backwards there, trying to keep his balance, and didn't realize Lamboy was on the floor behind him. So Darian Newell will shoot. Clock stopped at 12:08, showing. Our first basketball game of the season. I think the high school might start their practices tomorrow. On November 5th, today is the 4th. So high school hasn't started, but they'll be up and running within three weeks of our recording of this. Not sure when you're going to see this photo broadcast, but uh, if you're Internet savvy, you can see it within 24 hours at onetownsturbonetwork.com or platsburg.com. 
That's going to send Darian Newell to the line. And that's uh, Cougars are trying to get in the fouling side too here. They're trying to catch up. That foul was on uh, 21. That uh, can't be right. There's no 21 on the Cougars. Oh, it's not on the Cougars. That's not on the Cougars. The foul was on Taylor. They put the... They changed it from 1 to 2 on the fouls over there and it confused the heck out of me. So it's actually number 6 foul for the... Uh, Huskies as fouls on Taylor. That's a fine shooting at the line there by Lamboy. This is 77 29. We've still got 11.45 to go, so the Cougars are on pace to go well over 100 at this point. We're three quarters of the way there, and we're not three quarters of the way through the game. That's short. And Carter with the ball. Carter brings it up. Gives it out to Ortiz. Now you got Banks back to Ortiz. Lamboys brings it out. Down to 12 on the shot clock. No foul. Oh, it might have been a foul. No foul called as Banks scores. 35-minute shot clock in uh, college men's basketball. Yeah, Cougars come up with it. 79-29. They lead by 50 with 10 and a half remaining in the game. Basket good. Another timeout. That basket last one I think was by number five, Hall. 81 29, 10 18 on the clock. Word of Life is going to top it over. Regional. Huskies ball. Word of Life Bible Institute from Pottersville, Spoon Lake area. the basket by Richards. And it's back to a 50-point difference, 81-31. Let me travel. Uh, who is that? Number four, Brandon Bailey. He's just in the game. Who else we got? There might be uh, anybody else that might be new out there. No, I think he's the only one. Rebounded by, what was that, uh, 15. They need bigger numbers, I think, <laughs> or I need bigger eyes. Holmes with a bucket. 81-31, nine minutes and ten seconds to go in the ball game. And the Cougars take it away again. Little contact, the ref's gonna let that incidental contact go. Right. A little bit out of control, but the shot was up. And it's going up and in. Nice play there by number four, Bailey. I wonder if Bailey's ever been to Pottersville. And uh, Valadera's coming in. Of course, Shaughnessy's been to Pottersville. But I don't think Bailey has. George, uh, George Bailey woke up in Pottersville one day. 
That's a basket by uh, Mike Freeman. Uh, it's not Brandon Bailey that's on the floor here, but it's George Bailey from uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Went to sleep in Bedford, or actually jumped off the root bridge in Bedford Falls and ended up waking up in Pottersville. Well, Pottersville existed in the movies only for about uh, 20 minutes. So either you've watched It's a Wonderful Life or you haven't. And if you haven't, shame on you. Oh, oh. Trying to be too fancy there was uh, Valadares. Didn't uh, just kind of flicked it up there if it was a given. So he should have uh, should have put a little more uh, follow through on there and made a real shot out of it. Uh, Seven eighteen. 33. Oh, pretty good move there by Lamboy. 85 33. So seven under seven to go. Oh block. That was blocked. That comes Bailey. Just nipped the rim, rebounded by Baker. Six and a half to go, because it was a 15 away from the 30 point mark, uh, 100 point mark, excuse me, not 30 point mark. The offensive, or no, blocking, blocking foul. So Taylor will come in, Taylor's going to replace uh, Freeman. I think is one of the Texas Freemans. Time out on the floor. And stepped on the line. Oh, was it a foul? No, foul. The foul is on Valadero's. That's the Cougars' fifth foul, his first. A 20, uh, Ben Burtis. In for Richards. Blue ball. And he landed out of bounds. And Taylor caught it and landed out of bounds. 623 remaining. Cougars will keep it. That is missed. And the Cougars will keep it again. That's short. Rebounded by Taylor. Under six to go. Three-pointer by Baker. Eighty-five, thirty-six, five and a half on the clock. And off horn to be blue ball. Five twenty and counting. Now, Word of Life Bible Institute visiting Clinton Community College, November 4th, 2013. This is the garbage time on the floor here, just uh, running out the clock. Everything. Player down. We have an injured player over there. So, first game of the season in. Tyler Taylor is uh, carried off the floor. Turnover, give the ball to Word of Life. 
Under five to go. Just under five inbounded by Baker. And Newell has it. Shot rolls off the rim. And here comes Lemboid. Shot thrown up too hard by Bailey. And it'll be blue ball. Four and a half on the clock. 49 point lead for the Cougars. Their March 200 has, uh, has stalled. Timeout on the floor. Life ball. It's good. And number 24, Justin Cousins back in. 85 38. Four minutes to go. Cousins has it. Trying to draw a foul, no, no foul call. And rebound pulled down by Freeman. A little bit out of control, and we've got the uh, doctor coming back in. For the Huskies, he's going to replace Newell. Burgess to inbound. Air ball thrown up by Cousins. That going to be a travel. That's going to be a travel. That's going to be a travel. Uh, Jonathan on Lamboy. Uh, a little stroll there. Three and a half left in the ball game. 85-39. To the offense stalled at 85 points. And make it 85-41. It's number 20. Burtis. Oh. Don't blame Rick Bruce. I don't know what was wrong with the clock, but it wasn't his fault. Offensive foul, no basket. Banks is gosh darn it. I wish I'd gotten those two points. So we got Baker We're gonna inbound here to Proctor. And approaching the three minute mark. 85-41. Here comes Lambo. Good hustle to save it. That'll be offense. That'll be offense. Uh, Baldaris had the right idea, dished it off, but uh, his, his body kept Strolling into the defense. 2.38 to go in the game. A hat call, we're shooting two. Eighth team foul on the Cougars. They're at eight six. They were uh, trailing uh, five or six to nothing. Now they've got more fouls. So things have a way of evening up. Freeman's at the line. Foul is on Banks, so second. A couple of those, uh, offensive fouls that helped uh, build up the Cougar total. Two twenty five on the clock. Seven minutes left on my battery. So it's a it's going to be a challenge here to see what's going to run out first. The game clock on my battery. Fans are starting to head for the door. Oh, there's a 
all the people that were through here are headed for the door. They think they know who's going to win this one. Up the back of the iron. Another whistle, another clock stoppage. Fouls on four Bailey, so 2.09 to go. Six minutes on my battery here. We might not be able to finish this game here with a, like another battery, but uh, I might wrap it up before the game is over. Make it 85-42. Here's uh, Valadero. This is Holmes. Got the Valadero. One forty-five. Stop, stop the shot clock. Up to, up she's got the rebound. A minute and a half to go. And we finish without a foul. Cougar still at 85 points. Basket by Ben Burtis. 85 44, 115 on the clock. Clinton has gone a long time with no points. By Bailey. 101 remaining. So Baker underneath. Oh, rejected. Nice basket there by Valadero's. 87, it's been a while since the Cougars scored. 87, 44, 42 seconds to go. And a blue ball. Burtis will inbound, 41 seconds on the clock. And Bucket is made by that 11, Baker. And Nick Baker. 29 seconds. 87-46. Basket by Cousins. 87-48. Should be just running out the clock here. 14 seconds. 10. Let's let this one in. 87, 48. Four seconds. That'll do it. 87, 48. Clinton Community College defeats Word of Life Bible Institute, and that's the way it was. in Junior College men's basketball, November 4th, 2013. You're watching viewers supported local television, hometown cable. Win, lose, or draw TV worthy of your support, hometown cable. Thanks for watching, and for those of you who understand what viewers supported local television is all about, and support our continuing efforts. Ow!